Good morning, good morning. So good to hear your voice, Rosina. <laughs> um, so this morning I want to read from the book, still in the book of Exodus 17, 12 through 13. That says, Moses' arms soon became so tired he could no longer hold them up. So Aaron and her found a stone for him to sit on. Then they stood on each side of Moses, holding up his hands. So his hands held steady until sunset. As a result, Joshua overwhelmed the army of Amalek in battle. And today, I'm just grateful for, I'm grateful for the, the people in my life who support me. I'm grateful for my family, the support that I get from them. Um, and I'm grateful to just be alive, to, to be put in a position to, to help people, to support people the best, uh, the best way that I could. Um, in this particular story, uh, it was it was it's an interesting story because uh, Josh, the after going through all this and you know getting out of um, Egypt, so on and so forth, the Israelites had faced a battle with this guy called Amalek. He, you know, he basically attacked them, and Moses had sent Joshua out to fight him, but the Lord had given Moses a commandment, like basically telling him that hey. You know, you have to go out there and you have to hold up your staff the whole time. That's the only way you're going to win. You know, if his staff fell, then they started to lose the battle. So when, uh, as his arms get tired, obviously, you know, he's standing up there all day with his one hand in there. Um, he dropped his hand and they started to lose the battle. So Aaron and her stepped up and they supported him. You know, like they, they literally stood on his side and, and held his hands up in the air so that they could win the battle. And it was a it was a pretty light bulb moment for me, you know, and it made me realize how important it is to surround yourself. You know, and, and God teaches us this. How important it is to surround yourself with people who can be there to support you. You know, and not just support you when things good, you know, but support you when you all either go in a battle you know, support you in your home life, support you in your in your work life, you know, like just just people who genuinely dare to support you, you know. Because you know, in this um you know, I keep I keep going back to this story because I still in the book of Exodus, but still reminding you all about how important it is to be an errand in someone's life. You know, and, and look around you and identify who the Aaron's are in your life. You know, because Aaron was Moses' big brother. You know, and the more I read about him, and I last night you all know I like to go down rabbit holes. The more I read about him, it's um he has a very interesting story as well, too, because you know, through all of this, he operated without ego. And it was a big wake up call for me, and I think that that that's probably the reason why, you know, God led me down this path to do a little bit more reading into this particular book, you know, because it was, it's so important to be reminded that to not go into relationships with an ego or to, to go into relationships unintentional, you know, like it was very easy for Aaron to want to claim his peace, you know what I mean? Like, he, he was a spokesperson for Moses. This was from in Egypt, you know, because Moses wasn't a good talker, you know, but he did all the talking. He, you know, he, he was the one that threw down, even threw down the staff that turned to a snake at Moses' command. But still, you know, it was easy for, for when people write in historical accounts of this, it would have been easy for him to want to claim the prize behind it. It could have been easily swapped, you know, but... He had a mission to do, and he knew that what God was calling him to do was greater than what was ever needed for him. And that is what it means to drop your ego, you know, to unzip that bag and just remove it off of you, remove that, that outer layer of you and realize that whatever role it is that I'm playing at this point in my life, this is for the greater good of something. And so no matter if you're going through something, if God putting you through something, or God puts you in a position just to support someone and you're wondering to yourself, man, you know, like, 
Sometimes it, feel, it feels this way, that favor ain't fair. But at the end of the day, God's favor is always fair because it's equally yoked, it's equally distributed. You know, today for, today for Moses, tomorrow for Aaron. At the end of the day, Moses got a lot of glory for his story, you know. But remember this, Aaron was now royal priesthood. So all the Levites, everything came from through Aaron's bloodline. If you are a royal priest and that, that bloodline, that came from through Aaron. That I mean, you know, Moses and Aaron was brothers, obviously. But it was his anointing the now stretch for generations. So even though he didn't see at that moment in time what God's plan was, God's plan was for him to be a part of a royal priesthood. So I just say that to say, you never know what part of the plan or what part of how, how you fit into God's ultimate plan. You know, and when you have the opportunity to, to be Aaron and when you have the opportunity to be Moses, just remember that you're part of a bigger picture, you know, and you drop the ego and you just allow God to continuously work through you. Thank you again, everyone, for giving me the opportunity to speak. I love each and every one of you. I'm Kerry and I relinquish my mic.